Okay, I really expect that until right now, Gauss Prime already released for quite a few days. And here's the thing. I know that it is good. But the question is that how worth would he be? In other words, what would the price that Gauss Prime can go on? Because why I'm so interested is that among all the friends, some of them are very strong. But sometimes they didn't really cost that much when you search on the market. So I was thinking that how would Gauss Prime be worthy? Especially just only release and in the future. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. Now I know that this question might be very weird because the price can change a lot. But here's the thing, because Gauss is used so much that I think that it is quite worth the cost if let's say you want to ask about the others. Especially based on the current meta we have right now, you can expect that Gauss will be used quite a lot. The most notable missions is by far of course like the ex Exterminate and the Capture mission, especially in the Void Fishes. If you don't believe me, you can try to take close attention to the Warframe that people like to use during the Void Fishes missions, especially those fast missions. You can see that they always like to use these Warframe. Aside from Gauss, they also like to use Wukong, Vault, Garuda, and Titania. Now for these Warframe, they might have their own similarities and differences, but there were always some of the same things that most of you might already notice, which is fast and Gauss helmet ability, Thomas Sunder. Even though Thomas Sunder already received a slight nerf after the updates, but I don't feel like this is actually hurting that much, especially because Thomas Sunder is an helmet ability that can go to every Warframe most people will try to use Thermal Sunder as the main offensive ability to try to rush toward the fast mission. Which is why you can see that Titania and Garuda use these abilities very well as not only they can go very fast but they can also spam this ability. Especially if you take a look at Wukong and Volk, they also have their own niche as well. Wukong being fast and Volk can also be fast and doing crowd damage at the same time. But what's so interesting about Gauss is that it has both of them, much like Volt, except he's using the Thermal Sunder. This is quite good because we know that for the fast mission, sometimes they're not gonna be very hard. So no matter how low your strength will be, it is still sufficient enough for you to try to take it down. Not to mention that if you can spam very fast, then no matter how low the damage, it can still accumulate into a very high damage, which is why Thermal Sunder can make good use of it. Especially take a look at Gauss, because of the mud rush and the red light helping it, he can just make sure that he can rush through the exit without any question. And energy? Oh boy, kinetic plating just makes sure that it doesn't have any problem. Not to mention that it will also grant him knockdown resistance or immunity. Well, you can see that why Gauss can really use that well. And because of this, in the very early time, when I look at Gauss, I always keep telling myself that if Gauss really is prime, then a lot of people will want to get him in the first place as soon as possible. And it is very true because with this Gauss Prime release, everyone will try to snatch it. Initially, I was predicting that it will cost like around 200 plaques for the full set. And when I check on it, well, it is true that they have quite a close value. Not exactly, but it's already close. And you might think that, is it just only Gauss Prime really useful? I can tell you, it's not just only him. Aseltra and Akira is also very good. Not to mention that, in the early days when you want to get the original Gauss and his weapons, it's very hard because you have to get Gauss part from the Disruption mission in the set now. Wow, his weapon part and blueprint had to get from the Disruption in the Uranus where you only have a very low chance to get from defeating a, dis a Demolist. Which is why you can see that Gauss trains just completely surpass the original Gauss by a lot. This is why I think that Gauss can really cost a lot. I know that this could be a bad news, but good news at the same time. Because if let's say you're lazy to farm, yes, it will be a bad news if you want to buy it. But if you got extra and you want to sell it, well, congrats, because that will give you quite an amount of price. And it's not just only Gauss Prime. His weapon, Assaulter Prime, and Akira's Prime also cost quite a good amount, I assume. Because those two, especially Assaulter Prime, just being so great, despite some of the odds Assaulter initially had. So for this Prime release, I would expect that people will try to get this as much and as fast as they can, because it is very good for no matter it's the original players or those meta players. I can guarantee it is very good and very pricey, but worth the hard work. If this is your first time watching, why not leave a like and subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss out any newest contacts for me. Why not leave your comments down below if you got any ideas or thoughts you want to share with all of us. 
And that's it from me. And as always, I will see you all next time. Bye bye.